Hey guys, welcome back to Chili Wowers. Last episode, we put up this massive enigmatic office building. Oh man, I had a great time doing it, and I really just I'm really really happy that you guys loved the build too. But we got a couple of problems with our new place. The first is we got a whole bunch of empty rooms. The greenhouses, they ain't got no chilies. The rooms, they don't have any furniture or a use yet. We haven't given them a reason to exist. Other than that, what else does a big building need? Well, the first thing it needs is power. Maybe water, but that isn't a thing in Minecraft. So we're just going to worry about this episode getting some power systems hooked up in the Chili Wower Tower. So grab your tools, grab your wrench, and let's go get this place hooked up with juice. Right, so I've cleared out my inventory, and the only two things I have from my other series are my spell book, of course, from Ars Magica, the Magic Police, and of course I've got all these awesome spells. It'd be crazy not to use these because they're so powerful. Mark Turpin and, and, uh, and Teleport. First you put down a Mark, a Mark Turpin. And then when you use Teleport, you can send yourself or you can shoot somebody else back to wherever you put Mark Turpin. It's pretty cool. And uh, you've already seen that if you checked out the Magic Police. But what we need now is to think about power in the tower. Power to the tower. Yeah. So I think, well, we're going to need to pick a room first. And I've got a pretty good idea about what I want to do with power in this tower. So follow me up to the second from top of this room. Now I'm going to need to put down room numbers on all these on all these rooms, I think. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. So we know we're at the top when you see the green. So we're going to head back to the farm and get some supplies. Because what we're going to need are some osmium ingots. Because what we're going to do is we're going to dip into mechanism to get our power. We're going to use the, the awesomely cool looking renewable windmills. We're also going to get solar power as well, but we're going to do that after we get the windmills in place because I think windmills are a little bit easier to use. And we're also going to need to use mechanism to get some kind of simple ore generation. Basically, when we go out into the world and we pick up all the iron ore and all of the precious metals, all the gold, the diamonds, and some of the new ore as well, we don't know what to do with it over at Chili Wawa Tower. We could bring it back to the farm, but we haven't got any machines here really either because all our stuff comes from plants and it's automatically turned into bars. But what we need is a way to turn all into bars back at the Chili Wawa Tower. And I think we're going to use mechanism to do it because it's super fun, super cool. It's a bit sciencey, definitely too sciencey for the farm. Now, what I'm going to do, oh, actually, I should have done this before. I'm going to zip back to the Chili Wawa Tower and I'm going to use my Mark Turpin spell. Now, let's put down a mark. Okay, we'll put Mark Turp in there. Bam. And now that means if I switch to the teleport spell and I'm and I'm selected myself, whenever I cast teleport, it's gonna take me back to this mark, no matter where I am. Even if I'm downstairs, bam! Back to the office. Even if I'm all the way over at the farm. So now that we've got that in place, we can just keep going. Oh, and of course, I've got my thermometer, which means I can always stop, hold down right mouse button. Oh yeah! and find out what something's made of. Now, I can't believe I haven't scanned barley yet, but I have now, and it's made of um, Victus and Herber, I think. Right, so let's get back to the farm and grab what we need to get started with mechanism. Right now, first things first, I chucked away, I chucked away all my stuff last episode, so I'm gonna have to come back and get some more chilies, but that's no problem, because there's always plenty down on Shin's farm. What we need to do though, and what we'll do this episode as well, is we'll grab ourselves a hoe, and make sure we put plenty of chilies in our chili greenhouse so that whenever we're hungry, we can always pop downstairs for a quick chili snack. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, now I've decorated the farm a little bit, as you can see here. There's a giant golden statue of me. Oh, that's looking fantastic. Right. So I'm going to go and get some mechanism blocks in the form of, I think it's osmium that's, that's the main mechanism ore. So let's just look through these chests for mechanism. Aha, we've got it. Osmium ingots. Osmium ore. Now, oh, we could be in trouble because we haven't got much osmium. Oh, no. 
I, I, I just assumed that we'd collected a lot. But it looks like that's all that we've got. Oh, no, this could be bad, guys. Because we definitely need osmium to get started with our power generation. Right, well, what else are we going to need? Let's take a look first things first. Now, to get a windmill, which is what we're going to use, we'll put at mechanism in the not enough items because that lets us... Mechanism... Because that lets us see all items from a mod pack. Now, what we want is the windmills. So how do you make a wind turbine? Of course, you need enriched alloy, which is osmium. You need an energy tablet, which is gold and enriched alloy. And you need... What else do you need? A control circuit, which is, again, enriched alloy. So it looks like enriched alloy is a common theme here. But to get enriched alloy... You need to... Oh, so enriched alloy is just iron ingots in a metallurgic infuser. Oh, we can do that, no sweat, because we do have a ton of iron. So let's see if we can find iron in our barrels. Is that it? Oh, yeah, 25 stacks. Let's just get a load of those. Bam, 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 bam. Now, it's, it's five stacks is definitely going to be enough. So I've got five stacks of iron, a whole bunch of osmium. Well, not a whole bunch, a little bit, but that should be enough. I'll need to grab some redstone, so I'll take two stacks of that. Now, what else do we need? Gold, of course, and that's about it. Right, well, what we need to do is work out how we're going to make the iron into enriched alloys. So let's just take another look at that. Now, you use a metallurgic infuser. Now, there must be one of that's a, that's a, that's a, a mechanism thing. So there must be one around here. Let's see, enrichment chamber, compressor, combiner. Crusher, metallurgic infuser. Right, so how do we make one of those? An osmium ingot, some iron, and some furnaces. Right. Now it's time to head back to the Chiliwawa Tower. So if I right click, whoosh. Oh, yeah, straight the way back here. Man, this teleport spell is so cool. So powerful. Right. Let's go upstairs and we'll start marking off the floors. Now, first up, we've got reception. So we'll just put sign here that says reception ba -ba -bum. now the first floor now we don't know what's going to be on the first floor so we'll just put floor one right now we're at the top and this isn't this isn't floor five this is the penthouse. Oh, yeah. This is where I come to chillax. And I'm going to need to put down a bed here, I think, so that I can sleep and skip the night. But for the time being, we're going to go down one floor because we're going to put power generation on the fourth floor. And I'll show you why. Because we're pretty close to the roof here. Now, to get to the roof, we're going to go all the way to the top floor. And let's take a look down. Right. Oh, oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, man, I get vertigo. It's so high up here. I don't want to go too close to the edge because, oh, that is a long way down. If we fall down there, we're toast. Right. So, oh, if we look down there, I think this just down here is where the, um, the second floor is. If I just fall down here. Oh, careful. Oh, oh I took two hearts damage, but it's okay. Right, so this is the main structure here on the right. So that means right down here is floor number four. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some stairs. Oh, a bit too close to the edge. We're going to put some stairs in the fourth floor that take us all the way up here. And then... And then take us up onto the roof here so that we can put some wind turbines up here. And what we're going to use as well is, you see this main lift shaft? Well, that's a great way for us to transport power throughout the whole compound. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have wires and pipes going up the side of the elevator. Oh yeah, this is already looking pretty sweet. I'm just going to take the fall damage because it's not too much. And I do have some chilies for when I get too peckish. Right, now I'm going to head back to the farm and get the wood I need for a crafting bench. 
Ooh! Oh no! The spider's all over the cornfields! Uh oh, I've got to make a run for it. Oh no, I can't get wasted in the cornfields. That'll ruin my day. Come on! Come on! Gotta get to the farm! Gotta get to the safety of Stroot. Almost there! Woo! Okay, I think I've made it. Right, so I need some wood to make a crafting bench. Now I'll just get my teleport spell. And kablammo! Back to base. Right, so let's put the Metallurgic Infuser down, and we're almost there. Oh yeah, looking good. So with the Metallurgic Infuser, what we need to do is we need to put redstone in the left. Because what it does is it infuses iron with redstone. But we also need power. And to get power, we're going to use the heat generator. We're going to put some wooden logs in there. Ah uh, yeah. And that's building up some charge in there, some redstone charge. Now what we're going to do is we're going to need some wires to hook this up, I think. So I'm going to go back and get exactly what we need to make not only the wires, but also to make a crescent hammer so that we can switch our machines around and make them face different directions. But also what we're going to need is an energy cube as well so that we can put a place so that we can have a place to store all the power that we create. Right, so the problem that we have when we want to make cable and energy cubes is that we need steel. So let's take a look through our chests and see if we've got any steel lying around. Now we should do, because I'm sure we've used it for other things. Ah, now there's a crescent hammer. I'll just grab one of those. That'll come in handy. Ah, yeah, six steel blocks. This, this should come in perfect. Right, so what we need to do is we need to craft some cable and an energy cube. But we'll go back to the Chili Wowers HQ and do it all there because we're very close to being able to make our first windmills and get power churning around the Chili Wower Tower. So we'll just use our Mark Turpin spell to teleport back to base. There we go. Take the elevator to the fifth floor. Whoops, bit too high. Alright, okay. So our machines are in place. Now we'll make the cable first. Now we're going to need to break this down into ingots. That should be plenty. Now we'll put one, two, three, one, two, three. And no, wait, it's steel on, the, on each side, isn't it? And redstone in the middle. One, two, three. One, two, three. And oh, now 24 is not, probably not going to be enough. So we'll make another 24, so we'll have 48. Right, okay, perfect. And now we'll need to make what we need for an energy cube, which is a steel casing. That's four steel, I think, around an osmium. There we go, perfect. Now we're gonna need to, let's just put mechanism back in the window. Now we need to make an energy cube. So we're gonna need an energy tablet, which is gold and enriched alloy. So already it breaks down. So we need to make the enriched, uh, this, this, this object here, make us some enriched alloy. So in goes the cable. So that means the, the, oh. The metallurgic infuser is powered. And, oh yeah, it's making us enriched alloy. Oh yes, perfect. Right, okay. So let's start using this immediately to make ourselves a couple of windmills. Now what do we need for these? We're gonna need one enriched alloy, two, three, four, five, and then how many for the circuit? So that's six enriched alloy in total. So I've got two here, or rather three. I'll make the circuit first. Just need one of these. Whoops. Bam, the control circuit in place. Second, we need, is it redstone here and here, here and here? And gold along the middle, is that correct? Yes, one energy tablet in place. Now we need another one, so we'll need two more. Enriched alloys. Let's make that. So that's enriched alloy there and there. Gold along the middle. Redstone in the corners. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Okay, yeah, two energy tablets. Check. Control circuit. Check. So what else do we need for a wind turbine? Enriched alloy in the middle. And three osmium ingots around the edge. That's perfect. Enriched alloy in the middle. Ingots around the edge. Energy tablet. 
in place. Ka-ching. Bam! A wind turbine. Oh, perfect. All right, yeah. So let's go upstairs and work out where we're going to put this. Now, that is where the opening is. So we're going to have to put it up above the roof. Now let's just jump up. Oh, it's getting late, actually. I'm going to have a late night snack of chilies. Oh, yeah, I love me some chilies. Whoa! Oh, yeah, light that chili up, baby. Right. So we'll just drop down here. Ka-ching! And what we're going to do is we're going to put down the wind turbines facing away from the Chili Wower Tower. Now, wind turbines are given more power the higher they are. And you know what? That is perfect for us, guys, because we're right at the top. So if I put this down like that, bam! Oh, yeah, looking perfect. And what I can do is I can make some more wind turbines and put them all the way along here. But for the time being, I'm going to want to bring down the universal cable. Through the lift shaft. Or rather, I could put it through the lift shaft, but because I'm so close to the level where we're going to be generating all the power, I'm going to feed this directly down into the room by digging down through here. Right, so let's just put these in place. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so this is all hooked up. Now, I'll put more energy, I'll put more wind turbines along the top here, but for the time being, I'm just going to dig down. Oh, there we go. I've, I've hit pay dirt. That is floor number four. So I'm going to get my marble back out. Build back up here. Head down into the office room. And I might have to nerd pole up a bit here just to be able to reach that. Yeah, I definitely will. But I can now bring the cable directly down and power all the cool osmium machines, all the cool mechanism machines that I'm going to have in here. Now, it's a bit untidy, and I think I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll probably I'll bring it across the wall. Here we go. Right, so I'll just suck it along the edge of the room, like this. Oh. Here we go. And now it's going to come down here like this. Actually, you know what? We could, we could, no, we probably could, could we hide all this? completely from sight? I don't know. What I'll do between now and next episode is work out if I can find a way to hide all the cable so we don't see it. Although sometimes it's good to see the cable. Right, so now we have our heat generator as a backup, our metallurgic infuser, and our first wind turbine on the roof. What I'm going to do is build some cool stairs to give us a way to get up to the power generation tower to, to get out onto the roof so that we can check on the wind turbines, put a bit more grease, a bit more WD-40 on there if it needs it. But we've got a way to get power. What we need to do next episode is work out a way for us to crunch ore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some more wind turbines, hide the cable, and then build ourselves an, an ore to metal mechanism machine. That's really cool. It's a really cool thing to do, and it's really awesome to watch it and to listen to it in action. But for the time being, I've been Stjin, and this has been Feed the World to Chili Wowers. We're well on our way to getting this tower lit up with power. We've already got our first power being generated by the wind turbines above. Once I get more in place, we'll start generating crazy amounts of power. But until next time, guys, take care. <laughs>